With the help of Team Pikes, we put together two incredible tapas, washed down with the healthiest cocktail probably ever made. But first, I need to source a special ingredient. I'm looking for a mixer, but a healthy mixer. So something sugar-free. Uh, little fizz, kombucha. Oh yeah, I How know. About kombucha? Yeah, I know kombucha. Yeah? Kombucha Mark. Perfect priming. Oh, good. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. So Mark, I'm afraid I am going to mix this with alcohol, but what are the benefits, the health benefits of well, kombucha? It, it would be perfect to mix with alcohol because it cleanses your liver. Okay. Whereas alcohol gives your liver a little something to work on, makes it work hard. This helps the efficiency of your liver. Okay. So it would be great to mix with a cocktail because you can kind of detox while you're retoxing. Perfect. It flushes out the toxins, it helps it work through whatever you no put No hangover? No, it really helps with hangovers. I think that's why it's great for Ibiza. I'm heading to Pikes, the wildest party hotel in Ibiza, famous for Freddie Mercury's legendary parties and of course, Wham's Club Tropicana video. Nowadays, Ibiza Rocks House hosts the best after parties with the likes of Disclosure, Rudimental, Idris Elba, Ed Sheeran, to name a few. Here we are, <laughs> cooking. So with the help of these lovely guys, so we're going to be making two amazing cocktails and two amazing tapas. So we're going to do a sweet potato base. On the top, I'm going to put a, a guacamole, but okay. I'm going to do it with a Middle Eastern vibe going on. So I've got some preserved lemon. Right. And then on the top, we're going to put some salt. So that will give it a bit of crunch and a bit of bite. So that goes all on. And that's all going to go on. So what I've done, I've actually roasted those at home, and then mm -hmm. you can just take the skin off, okay. and then it's all ready to go. So they're ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to go. They're ready, they're to, ready, they're ready to, to go. go. So if you can do about six of those, I'm going to I'm going to get on with the guacamole. There you go. That's super important, having a lovely ripe avocado. Okay. So I'm chopping that off. I like to keep it quite quite well, chunky. Of course, chunky, yeah, me too. The next important ingredient in any guacamole is the tomato. Again, yeah. they've got to be super fresh, right? And right. I chop them down quite small. No, that looks good. So in they go. What I tend to do with, with my guacamole, I do a really almost pureed onion. Uh -huh. So that's going into the mix. Oh. Quite a bit of onion. So the ratio of tomato and onion is the same. Right. And then we've got preserved lemon with a chili. And then, because we're keeping it super healthy, we're going to put some Himalayan sea salt and then a nice squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Just it. The zing. The Gives you the zing. Yeah. So we're good with that, okay. So we're gonna put the tatire okay. on, on top of the sweet potato. Now we're gonna I want, take I the want, avocado and pipe it We're onto gonna the, pipe it in. The dolls goes on top of and the, the avocado. And the goes on top, so okay, I've cool. got my pan nice and hot there. Yeah. So, um, so we've heated up the, okay. the coconut oil and in with the dolls. You're having mm. you're having a doll's facial. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when that's, you know it's done, by the way. When it changes colour. Okay. Smell the bacon. Bacon, well, bacon, um, bacon, 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 bacon. Wow, amazing guy smells after bacon. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can smell bacon. Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> bacon. Yeah. This is Tess's little secret. This is um, this is fake bacon. <laughs> How it's called? It's dulse. So this, this is now what is the new healthy bacon and it's oh, perfect. vegan. But it's what is it? Seaweed, mm, isn't it? It's seaweed. Amazing. We just want a little, a little dollop. Okay. No problem. Do you want to go? And yeah, then sure. I'm going to, I'm going to dulse it up with my dulse. Fake bacon. Mm. And Another if you thing. go if you go spiky high, you roasted this with with coconut coconut oh, oil. Amazing! I want to get involved. You want to get involved, and yeah. then we do the sprinkling of the chaya. The lovely Steve and Mika are here to help make this super healthy cocktail. So I want you to introduce a spirit that you think works okay. with this, which yeah, will complement. Yeah, which I, I thought maybe that. It needs to be a neutral spirit, yeah. I think, because there's a lot of flavours going on. So vodka, 
In this case, it's a worm with vodka, a babichka. It okay. stimulates digestion. It is quite delicious. Perfect. Okay. So, so what's what's the next step? The blueberries with the acai. Uh, in Brazil, I know they mix it a lot with the uh, guarana. Yeah, that has actually uh, got the guarana in it. It's got guarana or agave or anything else that will kind of sweeten it up. Cool. And it just makes it just brings out the flavour. So you're gonna give that a blue Oh. So I blended the acai with um, the blueberries yeah. into quite a fine puree. Puree, exactly. And I'm putting it in here so I can decant it hopefully successfully into this. Look at that. That's amazing. Now we're going to prepare uh, the, the base of the of the top part, the alcoholic part, which is the worm with vodka and the goji berries with uh, soaked in coconut water. Slightly over a double shot. So that's a, an Ibiza measure, yeah. or is that a pint? That's measure? Uh, that's <laughs> the seventy-five mil there. But that, mm. but that looks like San Antonio sunset. Mm. Oh wow, <coughs> that's got a kick. Yeah. Ta-da! That is ready. Yeah, almost the decoration. So. Oh. This is the yasmin from the garden and a few blueberries. Thank you, thank Lovely, you. Yeah. I thought we'd make some gyoza and rather than a Japanese filling, I'm going to use chicken and chorizo. So the first part is cooking off the chorizo. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. This is amazing Andalusian olive oil. And then I've finely chopped some chorizo. So while that's doing, I've got a, a chicken breast that I'm going to whiz up in the blender. Okay. From the campo. You're going to chop that up, it's going to go straight in there. That's going to go straight in there. Right. I've got some Spanish gold in a jar. Is that saffron? Which is saffron. No. So I'm going to just put in some chopped chives. These are from my garden. And then I'm going to turn the heat off. So in that goes. It doesn't matter that it's going in hot. Yeah. Because the mixture is going to get cooked anyway. Give that a whiz. So that's lovely and blended. So now we have the delight of filling and okay. making these. We've got gyoza wrappers. So first of all, you need to get some water right. and just run your finger around the edge. I might do on the edge. Run it around the edge, not okay. too much. And then you cradle it in your four fingers right. and about a teaspoon, just a little teaspoon of the okay. mixture in the middle. So now you're fold folding it like a like a taco. Then you've got a constantina, the edges. Constantina. Constantina. Pull and pinch. Okay. So pull from yep. pull from the right. Pull, pinch. Yep. Pull, pinch. Pull, pinch. And if you feel like the filling's coming out, then you can kind of squidge it around. Okay. And then yeah, so then you've got a flat back. I understand. Yeah? So I'm gonna heat up the, the pan. Okay. So we put them flat side down okay. in the pan. And while that's cooking, if you can Am put, I the, the yes? if you okay. put the lovely Parissa alioli into mm. the bottom of the okay. dishes. Yeah. So I've got some hot water. Yeah. So with a gyoza. That's off the heat, yeah? Yeah, so I'm gonna put it off the yeah. heat while yeah. I pour that in. So that hot water, that will steam down. So it's all cooked through. So it will cook through and that will evaporate and then eventually it will, it, it will, it will evaporate. Oh, to that point, wow. Yeah, and it will crisp up again. So you're getting, yeah. so it's partially fried and steamed at yeah. the same time. So I did these at home. Right. Pickled cucumber. So no, I did that, I did it, did it this morning. So you slice the cucumber, cover it in salt, so it releases all, all, the, water, mo all yeah. the moisture. Damp it down with mm -hmm. um, kitchen roll. And then I've got a really nice rice vinegar on right. there, some agave syrup, and, and some mirin. Yeah. And I've put a, a few fresh chilies. So that brings the Japanese element. All that liquid is now evaporated. And then, and then it kind of crisps up again. Oh. So just turn those again. We've got okay. the amazing pickled cucumber here. We're going to wrap those. Mm -hmm. 
So you're going to get a bit of acidity, a bit of crunch. Yeah. And also, it's just a, like a clean Japanese. And I've got, I've got oh, these yeah. fun uh, oh, yeah. wasabi yeah. sesame seeds. Oh, I love wasabi. You can do the final decoration. And then oh, now, wow. we can hit the pool. I would clap, I would clap, I've got my hands full. No, 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 that would be for you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, Tess. So, in we go with a perfect pike's bottle. Will you pour it? All right, in with that. Lovely elixir. With the elixir. Of acai and blueberries. Can you give it a stir? See. And that's taken on a completely different colour. It has a little bit, yeah. Oh, lovely can, taste. Can you taste the vodka? <laughs> mm, no. Then you it's got... the perfect cocktail. It smells absolutely good. We've got the complimentary tapa there, which is the sweet potato with the zataya yep. crust. Then we've got a preserved lemon guacamole. Mm -hmm. And then the fake and bacon, yeah. which is the dulse, which is the seaweed. 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 So again, lovely. tuck in. All that cutting. Exactly. I love it. It's like a union of food. It's like unique. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. I don't think there's a, a way of doing this apart from maybe take it off. Oh, the I could skewer. just the whole thing in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, but don't poke your eye out. Yeah, just in. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, wow. Lovely. Great one. With the wasabi yeah. and the coriander. It's great. So so now do we go for our skinny dip? <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it your grandfather? No, yeah, my, no, don't say that with my father. No father, so I just apologize. <laughs> did he not oh, sorry, Dad. Did he not did he not jump off uh, Yeah he jumped off he jumped off oh, in, in, in a red dress. In, in a sailor's suit, a female sailor's That's all right, yeah. pink wig, and you said, do not jump in with yeah. your knee, knee high boots. <laughs> so I, think I, must have yeah, I, did. I think he took the knee high boots off before yeah. he jumped in, out of respect to you. But the rest of the um, outfit got ruined. I think he had uh, about three costume changes there as well. I think there were five costume that's the, changes. That's the magic of the booth well. But honestly, it's, just, it's been absolutely incredible, and thank you so much. Oh, it's um, always magical. Thank you. So full recipes for today will be found on the website lovefoodabitha.com.